another popular cartoon for kids going woke. This time, Peppa Pig. What is going on here, guys? We'll get into all the details of it in less than 10 seconds. Parents, pay attention. We'll get into it here, guys. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video that helps us get around the algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. And if you guys can help donate here to my ministry, help support, you know, a blind content creator here on, you know, YT, who's a Christian conservative who got demonetized a long time ago. I'd appreciate that. All right, let's get into this. So Peppa Pig, thats I mean, this is a show, guys. It's been around for 18 years. It's broadcast in over 180 different countries. It airs on Nick Jr., okay? Now, you would think that after all this time, maybe Peppa Pig would escape, right? It would, it, it would, it would, it would escape the woke, you know, the woke train. It's not going to get Peppa Pig. Well... It got Peppa Pig in an episode that aired earlier in the week. We had a character by the name of Penny the Polar Bear. She was in class and the kids were talking about their families. That was actually the episode title. It was called Families. And Penny the Polar Bear said, I have two mommies. Ooh, two mommies? What do you mean? She says, one mommy is a doctor and the other mommy makes spaghetti. And I really like spaghetti. Of course, this is all meant to normalize the fact that children can have parents that are not just a mommy and a daddy. You could have two mommies. You could have two daddies. You could have a, a, a rabbit and a cat. You could have a, a, a cow and a horse, whatever you want. That's the goal that they're trying to put out here. This wasn't actually the first time, though, that... Well, the reference of the two mommies came up for this character, although it was at a time where they were dropping Penny off at a party uh, and you had, you know, the two females there, although they didn't reference the fact that they were together, that they were a couple. Uh, but what potentially really started this? We have to go back to 2019 because there was a petition that went out at the time that was actually putting a demand on this and it could have possibly led to what we have now seen being introduced to the show. I'll get into that, guys, in a quick second. But first, let me put a quick, a quick plug in for my Patreon. Guys, if you only watch these videos through YT Alerts, you miss a ton of content because they don't like me and they don't like to push notifications out to you. So if you sign up on the Patreon, you know, this is great both ways. It helps my ministry. You help support me as a content creator here. You know, as this blind conservative, again, who got demonetized a long time ago. But you also get alerted for all the content that I put out. You never miss an alert. You can leave your comments there completely censorship free because YT removes those all the time as well. Even send me direct messages. Okay, guys? And hey, if you prefer to go the route of PayPal, you can help out there as well. All the links are down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So it was back in 2019. They had this petition that was started. It actually fell short of its goal. They needed to get 25,000 signatures on the petition because they wanted more of this rainbow inclusion into Peppa Pig and wanted more representation. They didn't get it. Although, come on, it was inevitable that it was going to go this way anyway right? I mean, all of these shows, all of these companies have felt the pressure now to go ahead and start throwing this in their shows, whether it's a new show or whether it's a show that's been around for a long time, like Peppa Pig, again, that appeals to preschoolers. And so it said at the time that, you know, Peppa Pig is more about just entertainment. It's about children being able to learn. And we are fearing that if children do not see, you know, families with, you know, same-sex couples being represented, that they will feel ostracized. That could even lead to potentially bullying. <laughs> this, these were the ridiculous things that were put here in this petition. And even though it fell short, still, now you have it being introduced into the show. And a lot of parents are not happy about it. And so I talk about these things because, look, I know that for many of you that watch me, you have kids. And a lot of them might watch like something like a Nick Jr., but they may watch a show like Peppa Pig or something else. I mean, God knows I have talked about a ton of these shows before on these networks. And so this sends a message out there. Stop letting your kids watch these shows. 
The minute they start to put this indoctrination in there, get the show off. There's other things that the kids can be doing. There's other shows they could be watching. You don't have to worry about any of this nonsense. So that's what we're trying to get the message here to parents. Peppa Pig, they gone woke. And uh, well, we know the way society is going right now. We can only uh, expect things to get much worse. But as that goes, we know that also Jesus is coming back soon because all the signs of the last days are now coming together, right? It has to get darker in order for the light, which is the light of the world, Jesus Christ, to return. And he is coming soon. And so on that note, guys, I'll put more information here for you in the description. You can read some more on this if you'd like to. But I'm not done quite yet because I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, if you're watching right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into their life, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. As I mentioned, we are in the last days and Christ is coming soon. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. But here's the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, anything in your life that goes against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he wipes your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. As I mentioned, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.